Hi guys, Keith here from Happy Trails Personal Trail Groomers. Uh, today we're doing a walkthrough on our 7212 Club XL. Um, 72 inches wide. The 12 foot is to here. Um, that's how we we do our our sizing. Um, with the 7212, you get um, you get a highway axle with uh, with highway tires. Over the years, we've we've lengthened this uh, this actuator out to a 12 inch actuator. Uh, we used to use an eight, but we find the 12 inch um, allows it to lift up m much easier when the, the pan is full of snow. Um, come around here, you'll see that we got two rows of cutters on our 7212. Um, these cutters sit below our normal cutters uh, to give it a bit more aggressive cut. Uh, we also have closed in sides um, that run the full length. This will keep your keep your snow in a bit better, uh, allow you to um, to drop it down, pick up snow, and dump it in in the holes. Um, all our wiring uh, is all inside tubing, so uh, it's all protected this way. We've changed our back bar as well. We made it a little bit wider. Uh, so that if you do get a track setter with this, um, the track setter will will go here and you'll still have your rear lights for your normal grooming. Um, if you come up here to the tongue, this one here has a D-ring hitch. Um, and what we do on the club models, we reinforce the bottom, um, plus we double up our hitch right here. This double up here, uh, allows us to run our wiring through through this one, keeps it protected, uh, banging against trees or whatever. We also reinforce um, the the clubs here a bit more, and down in here we do a bit more reinforcing. The closed-in sides, um, as you can see, our side plates are all tied in there. Uh, that gives it quite a bit more strength in in the uh, in the club models especially with the 7212 gives it that extra length um, all our fittings come around here um, these are all waterproof automotive connectors um, that keep it keep it so last a long time this is the wiring harness you'll get with it um, you just want to back up there right? So in this harness, uh, you'll have your power lead, which runs to your battery, and then you'll have this long length here, I'll show you the end, uh, it's a six prong plug. Uh, what we do with our wiring harness, so that you don't have to um, disconnect this fitting uh, when you're pulling it through the machine. You'll drill a hole at the back. If you pull this all the way through here, we've also added three quick connects as well. Uh, the same waterproof fitting that uh, that we use there. This will allow you to disconnect this harness, feed that all the way through without having to disassemble uh, the wiring in the plug in order to feed it. So in this, in this switch here, I just want to go around the back there. Um, this switch here has your lights. That'll be your standard. You'll have two rear lights plus a flasher. Um, these other two switches, this one here drops it down, uh, which is going to lift up your cutters and give you that adjustment with your cutters. This one here, this third switch is for your wheels. Uh, we've designed it so the wheels flip really high up out of the way, um, plus give you um, quite a bit of hot ground clearance once they're um, once they're deployed. I'll show you how it goes. Those wheels will flip around and actually 
almost lock in. You put a stock in the back, um, and, and it'll butt against the uh, it'll butt, butt against the pan in the back side. Uh, show them. Uh, we've got a plate in there um, that these here butt against. So you can't actually tow this down or down a road um, because of the way that we've designed this. Um, any road force is going to come straight up and down, uh, isn't going to pound directly on your cylinder. Your cylinder literally is to get it into place. So all your all your function, um, all your weight from your road is going to force this up. But if you take a look at the way we do our brackets, um, these brackets actually lock in as well and keep everything nice and secure. We use two half inch bolts on there. Now mind you, if you are taking this down a road and the road's full of potholes, um, you're gonna have to go slow. If it's same as, it's kind of like towing a wood splitter down if you're down the road without suspension, um, except this is quite a bit heavier. If you hit those holes, you will wreck it. Uh, you will bend it, um, but you can tow this thing at 80, 90 kilometers down the road and it will pull absolutely fine. Um, we've, we've done it and there's no issues with it. So if you have any questions, um, like I said, this is our 72 Club XL. Um, our 7296 um, is this long. It, it stops right here and then has the front. So we've the XL has three feet longer plus a second cutter. So if you have any questions, contact us uh, through our website at trailgroomers.com. Um, or check us out on Facebook at Happy Trails Personal Trail Groomers. Um, and we'll happy to answer any questions and we can get one made for you. Thanks.